Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my closet organization. Some of you have requested this video from me and here it goes. I'm going to be very honest and vulnerable with you and show you the true state of my closet. This is the closet in my bedroom. It's a double door that swings open. You ready? Yeah, I know. It's disgusting. I should be ashamed of myself. But I know I'm not the only one. If you're watching this video, you must have this problem too. As you can see, I have organizers here and there to help us with our stuff, but we still need help and a better way of organizing it. Before I start taking everything out of the closet, I'm gonna take a good look and see where my problem areas are. It makes no sense for me to just clean my closet out. I wanna organize it in a way that'll function well for me and my husband so that it won't get this messy again so quickly and easy. Looking at my closet, I can see the door has too many jackets and the top of my closet is overcrowded with clothes. I have too many purses, the shoes are out of place, and there are items that don't even belong in my closet. Our thick hangers don't allow us to maximize space. I don't like the orange color organizers. And umbrellas, really? Please tell me why. Now it's time for the dirty work. The second step is to clear out the closet. I started clearing out the right side of the closet with the door and my husband's side of the closet. I don't have much space in my room for all the clothes so I have to do it by sections. I take out all of my husband's clothes and I lay it out on the bed and after I'm finished I'll move on to the top of the closet. Side note, before you start this project make sure your bed is made so that when you finish you don't have to worry about making your bed again. Just emptying out the right side of the closet and the top of the closet has completely overhauled my room. This is why I have to do it in sections. The next step in this process is step 3 which I like to call dare. This is where we must decide what to do with our clothes. Are we going to keep it, donate it, discard it, or put it away for another time? Now that we know what clothes we're keeping, it's time to arrange. How are we going to arrange our clothes? Are we going to color code them? Or are we going to put them by style? And what type of hangers are we using? I'm replacing the white thick hangers we had before with these black non-slip hangers I got from Costco. Which brings us to the next letter in our dear acronym, RETURN. This is where you return your items back to your closet in the way that best fits your needs. As you can see, I decided to sort my husband's clothes by color. Now it's time to step back and enjoy. Do you like the way your closet looks? Are the changes you made helpful for you? At the end of the day, you're the one that has to look at your closet every day. So if you're not enjoying the way it looks or the way it functions for you, this is the moment where you can change it to fit your needs. Once I completed my husband's side, I did the same steps on my side of the closet. To be honest with you, I had to get rid of some of my clothes in order to make more room in my closet. It's a hard decision to make, but you have to choose between having clothes or being at peace and enjoying the clothes that you have. So here's a quick rundown of what I did. I color coded the clothes. I changed out the orange organizer I had in the middle for a white one I had in another closet. By changing the color of this organizer, it makes my closet feel brighter and cleaner. All of my hangers are now the same color and style. This also makes the closet look neater and nicer. On the top of my closet, I placed my bed sheets and blankets on this shoe organizer I got from Ikea a few years ago. To the left of my closet, I placed some off-season items in storage boxes and my larger bed sheets on top. I cut out some cute cardstock to put as labels on these boxes. On the right side of my closet, I place a luggage that we have and a bag containing extra bags we had in the closet. In the middle organizer, I place my husband's interior clothes, socks, and jeans. On the bottom right of the closet, I have the shoes we are currently using for this season. The out of season shoes I have stored under our bed. On the door in the left side of my closet, I hang my purses. I used this awesome purse organizer I bought at the container store. It has clips on it that allows you to move it up and down depending on where you want to hang your purses. It easily hangs on the door and it's not bulky at all, giving you flexibility of where you place it. Here I'm showing you how I hung my purses up. I started from the bottom and worked my way up so that I can adjust the clips as I place the purses on the door. I wanted my purses to hang one after the other with no gaps in between. 
This organizer holds about eight bags, so I only put the bags I'm using for this season. My other bags I had to store away, and I also had to go through my collection and get rid of some, which I donated or I threw away if they were broken. Here's a small tour of the closet. Organizing it in this way really made a big difference. And all these small changes really add up because it's so much easier for us to look for our clothes now, especially color, color coding it. This is the first time I ever color coded anything because usually all my clothes are black, but I color coded it and it's so much better. I can actually say when I sit back and I look at my closet, I enjoy looking at it. I really do. I close the doors and I open them and I'm like, wow, like my closet looks really good. It's like a breath of fresh air for the start of your day. Now I couldn't leave you without giving you my bonus tip. I am so excited about this product. You know how your closets can get very dark and it's difficult to see the clothes you have even if it's daytime? Well, here you go. Bam! These are battery powered LED lights. I got a pack of six from Costco for $20. And I'm telling you, I am in love. They are remote control and they work beautifully. I have almost nothing negative to say about this product. It's awesome. They stick to your walls with adhesive that come with the bat with the lights. The light is pretty bright, especially in small spaces, as you can see. And this is me only using three of those lights in my closet. I use the other three in different areas in my house. If you need spotlighting in your rental, I highly recommend these. You don't have to do any electric work. These are perfect for rentals. I hope you enjoyed this closet organization video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like this video and also if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. God bless. See you in the next one.